from the depth instant tutorial well hello and welcome to instant tutorials today we're going to talk about decorations and some smart tips you can utilize to make your stuff look pretty cool you can see we have a considerable lack of decorations right here so i'm going to show you right away uh, the different decoration and cool stuff we can add so uh, to begin with we are going to look at this little thing here you can see um, this could be, for example, a corner of a turret or something like that. We would like to smooth out the surfaces. We would like to have something here. Uh, the problem is there is no block we can put here that looks good in uh, each way. So what we can do to kind of mm, solve this problem is, uh, well, well, we still need some blocks here. So we are then going to add like this and we're going to cover the rest of this area to make it look uh, acceptable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these inverted uh, corners here and we are not going to press Ctrl X. No, we're going to press Ctrl, hold Ctrl, hold Shift and then click X. And now we've added that block here. So as you can see, we can move around this block here. Um, but what we want to do is to do some scaling. Yes, forward back will be two, left right will be two, positioning, we can add it. Let's see here where we want it. It will be 0 0.5, forward back 0 0.5. And there we go. Isn't that quite beautiful? Now it looks like it's very smooth, but in fact, it's a mimic. If we add a symmetry plane here, we can over even go into where we place this little decoration, click Ctrl X and scroll down, or not scroll down, you see here, apply with mirror. And it will be applied to the other side uh, in case we are doing it on like four sides. And then we could, for example, uh, move the symmetry plane and we could do the same thing, apply with a mirror. And in this way, we can make a mimic go uh, four ways around uh, to make it look like this. Now they are red, and that is because uh, we don't have a block, like they are spawned from this and this block, but you can see now the blocks are missing, so they're glowing red. So we need to add some block there and they will be back because it's only the mimic that gets uh, copied over. But uh, if the rest was built with symmetry plane, this would work very well. So that's a very smart tip and that's how I usually make the turrets look acceptable even though this, uh, a rare case, does actually work without it. So there are some other um, decorations we can add. Uh, before decorations were called mimics, now they're called decorations, so that's why I'm a little bit confused on what they're called. I want the line that is connecting um, these two poles because these are poles on a sailing boat. You can see this is a little sailing boat, ma sailing boat mast and I want some kind of decoration that looks like a cable. So I will click Ctrl X. So then we need to look for a block that might look like a cable, like for example straight pipe 4 meters. Okay good. So we just go in here Ctrl X. This, this, is, this is the mimic, zero, because we can have very many. And we're going to change this to straight pipe, four meter. We have all the new, so a little bit different textures. We click that there. Uh, take the old one. I'm going to select my dark color. And then we can just, we can just uh, move around. If we hold the mouse, middle mouse button, I can uh, rotate around like this. So what we do is we take uh, left and right scaling. Now that's wrong. Up and right. Yes, this is right. We can make it up to 40 meters long. So we then can uh, turn it around like this, for example. We can pitch it down like that. Super cool. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, that long. We can make it a little bit more narrow. So maybe something like that. And then we can have uh, forwards backwards scaling, maybe that long. And then forward back positioning, that's n we want that. And then we can drag it up and down like that. And then we have a pretty good cable connecting these two poles. And here we've added a little wire thing, which looks pretty good, I think. 
All right, so that's how we do it there. We can add other types of decorations, like, like for example, on the barrel here. So I go down to where the barrel actually is. And I want this barrel to look a little bit more meaty. And I want, uh, I want it to have a kind of a little bit cooler looking um, area where the barrel spins around in. So I'm trying to look for some kind of center thing here. We can add, yeah, let's do metal. Let's do a metal pole. I'm thinking that I want it, the axis to look like it's there kind of, and I twist it around until I find a good spot where I think it will work. I think inside here. And it's not on top of the barrel, which is good because then it will be added to each of these barrels separately. We'll watch that later. Then I will select this color here. I will click Control Shift X. And then I can have left right scaling, up down scaling, and I can make it a fitting size here. And I added it where I thought I wanted it, but now I realize I want it a little bit more down. Maybe like that. And I want it a little bit further in there. Maybe like maybe like that. Maybe that looks cool. I think that looks pretty cool. Alright, so now we added that there, so it's basically fixed, you know, could be a little thing there. Uh, and then I also want something on the barrels here, so I will select a white color. And on top of this barrel, you know, this is actually on the barrel. So then I will just add this uh, 4 meter metal pole. And if I turn back hard, let's see here, yeah, the barrel is still inside of there. So I will click Control Shift X like that. We can play around where we find a value we actually like. Maybe like that, but now I actually changed my mind. I will just click Ctrl X where I placed it and I can delete this one or delete all in this case. And I'm just going to do it again, Ctrl Shift X like that. And here we can see left, right, up, down, forward, back scaling. If I turn all of this to the same value, I can find, and here I can decide length here. And here I can decide how much I want them to be just like that, how much they should protrude. And I'll try to make a matching little design here. You can see we can go in very small steps until we make it really fit. So now we kind of got a hexagonal little shape around there. And these will actually follow with the barrel and that's what's so cool about them. And if you just change your mind here, we can just go there, we placed it and we can delete this one or we can change the color or do whatever we like. So very easy way to add really cool barrels. And one thing that a lot of people want to do, that's basically taking some really cool um, um, like parts to make the front of the barrel. So for example, we can put a flash suppressor barrel. So we just click Control Shift X and now they, they got added onto them. So we just go uh, forward back positioning, we can have them there, very nice. Left, right scaling, now it's like simple barrels, so we can't make them, <laughs> oh god, that looks insane. We can do some insane designs too. I think you got it by now here. You, it looks like we have uh, flash suppressors on these, and uh, since they're just decorations, they won't be hit by anything, and they will follow the barrels like that. So pretty handy. Right, so we have some other things we can use for decoration. One thing you should probably do is to go to um, decorations. And on here you find loads of interesting things like there is like props you can add and you can like these are very cheap and like big and like just decoration and you can even add them as like mimic parts. So it's really easy to work with. Um, and of course, there is stuff called smoke generators. So we can have like uh, flame or smoke or something like that. And we can just add them here and they're like very nice. And we can even control them with ACBs and stuff like that. So we have a lot, we have a lot of customization. And for big ships, it's really nice to have some smoke there. Then there is also, of course, lights. If you haven't used uh, lights, that could be a cool thing. We can add intensity a little bit here. Set light range and we can just do, 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 move it around and have some really cool effects on your uh, builds. And then there is a very nice tip that we definitely want to use. 
so let's make a little uh, mix little, let's make a little screen thing here so imagine this is this is the side of a ship this is the side of a very cool ship and I want my logo on top of there so what we're going to do is we're going to just add it like that and in the middle here we're going to go to decorations we're going to go to image displays and inside of there we can see a hologram projector face it uh, forwards like this so that a project like it's that way kind of like that and then we just uh, click Q on this thing so we go into it and inside here we can see we have a hologram and we have a text so we can even display a text and projection range we should of course bring it further on like that and now you can see it's uh, twisted in a weird way so just ctrl c rotate it ctrl v now you can see it's correct there if it's inverted we just go into text mirror text we can do bold font and change the, we can change the colors and we can change to italics and whatever right so um we can also do some other stuff here now it's like 1.06 so it's slightly in front of it if we had it at exactly one it will just clip over the front face so we can put it to 0.01 if we want to be sure it's actually in front of it but anyways uh, we can skip the text here and go to hologram and inside of here we can paste an image from a web page and if you have seen my how to make a custom flag video, you know that you can upload the flag into your Discord server and just copy the link from there. And if you need help with that, just check that tutorial out. It is in, it's in the instant ones. If I don't mention anything, check the playlist. I probably mentioned it a million times earlier. So just paste in the URL there for the image you want. And here you can see we have our little image there. And of course we can scale it a little bit. So let's make it like five by five like that. Very nice indeed. So near, here I have my army of Jimodism logo right in front of that. So that could be a beautiful side of a ship. And that's basically the decoration mimics. Um, you can imagine and do whatever you want. You can scale and fit the blocks in however ways you want. I just like to keep it pretty simple so I don't do too advanced stuff. But some people spend almost all of their time in front depth using mimics uh, or decorations as they are called. Ctrl X, if you want to paste uh, the block as a decoration you're holding, you paste Ctrl Shift X and then you don't have to do the searching process. Very handy. And there we go. So hope this little easy decoration tutorial was helpful and if it was check out the other instant tutorials there is probably something new to learn and you should absolutely subscribe to the channel. This is your host Jimodism signing out.